Okay, we're going to talk about selection sort. We've just called, we've just uh, covered bubble sort, which had an exchange uh, for every member as it made each pass. As it made each pass, it would it uh, could do shorter and shorter passes until it reached the end. Uh, selection sort similar, uh, but as it's traversing, what it does is it looks for the largest item. It doesn't exchange anything until it gets to the end of its current pass. And once it's found the largest item at the end of that pass, it will swap it uh, from what is at the end of the list to where the largest item is. So you'll see in the next, it swaps the 93 and the 20. Now then it does another pass all the way up to the 55 here, and it finds 77 is larger, and it will swap the 77 and the 55. So here's the 55 here. And now it scans through and finds the largest item up to the 44 and it finds 55 is bigger so it swaps the 55 into here and it keeps doing that when it's all done the list is all sorted. Now let's look at uh, the code so you'll see it, it's doing it by remembering the position of the maximum so first it sets it to zero uh, well first we have this is the same as in the uh, bubble sort this is the outer loop is going to do shorter and shorter ranges so it's going to go uh, how many slots it has to look in starts at the whole list which is uh, length of the list minus one and eventually it gets down to zero. So it starts out with the largest list. Uh, it sets position of the max to zero and for the location from one to the number of slots it's looking for plus one it's going to compare the location to the max and if they're uh, out of if it finds it's larger it's going to re replace that location into the index of the largest one when this inner loop is done it will have found the maximum position so it swaps the two and then goes back again so let's look at how that works visually so we've already initialized this we'll run it So it, the green is that it finds the biggest one, and then it swaps it at the end. So you can see it's it's eventually sorting the whole list. Now because this is a nested loop and it basically is going uh, through a pass exactly exactly like bubble sort. Uh, it's still technically an O of n squared. It has to make that many comparisons. But because it does a lot less exchanges, in fact it says here uh, a bubble sort for this list would make 20 exchanges where uh, this uh, selection sort only did 8. So it's, uh, you can see it's a lot faster uh, but it's still n squared.